guys welcome back as you can see I've taken up my motorcycle seat so um, you know to kind of take a look at this space I have here to play around with um, man this controller is such a massive controller honestly but um, my original plan was to mount the um, controller underneath the seat but I realized that uh, it might be best to try to figure out a way to mount it here because you know mounting the controller here can affect the controller in so many ways like getting the uh, controller exposed to moisture and um, uh, dirt and other elements so I've decided to you know figure out a way to you know mount the controller on the inside I might have to cut out this uh, mountain tab and the controller to make it fit I'm not sure yet but you know and also I might have to cut out some section in this place that's for sure to make this mount but uh, we'll see how it goes so this is how much space we have to work with right here I'm not sure if you guys can see it but um, it's not much you know let's take a look at the controller as you can see the controller doesn't sit like flush you know there is a section down below here that I have to cut out I have to cut out this section down below in this area you know to make it a um, make the controller kind of sink in and make it you know make it work but um yeah I'm, I might have to start off with that cut out that section and see how far and how deep the controller can go down then we're gonna go from there so um I'm going to mark the um, sections I have to kind of cut off like right there with a screwdriver and I'm gonna mark up the other side somewhere around here I'm not sure if you guys can see it but I'm gonna cut that out and uh, see what it looks like then if I have to make further modifications then I'm gonna go from there As you can see the controller sits a little bit lower so I'm gonna take it on the bike and um, see what it looks like then if I have to make further modification then I'm gonna go from there okay guys I'm gonna put this um, self frame back together and um, put the airbox on and the controller and see what it looks like
Okay, we're gonna take a look at it and see what it looks like. As you can see, I just um, pulled the airbox back together temporarily. So um, I'm gonna try it with the controller. And um, yeah. It's almost there as you can see it's 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 sitting almost flush almost almost flush so yeah matter of fact <laughs> it's sitting flush I guess um, we just gonna have to do a little bit of um, work and um, you know it should be perfect and try to figure out if I'm still gonna keep this mountain tabs or um, cut it right up. So we'll see. Hey guys, um, I made a mounting uh, point for my um, controller, so I'm gonna drill a hole right here and right here. Um, and for the other holes, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get like a um, angular bracket. Um, and drill one hole from right here and the other hole is going to be drilled from right here and it's going to mount to the um to the controller so that's i think this this is thick enough once i tighten it down with a bolt everything should be good so yeah i think it should hold up pretty good and remember the budget is two thousand dollars nothing more than two thousand dollars so we'll see how it goes